Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue exploring alerts and what they can do for you. In a previous demonstration, I showed you how it works on a document library, and um, here I'm going to show you how it works on a list. It's mostly the same, but there are some subtle differences. So I'm going to create a new alert for this list, the departments, and it's all the same settings there in a, in a regular list. And this is a custom list. So I've created a new custom column called employees there. Now, when I add a new item here, I'm going to call that South, which have just five employees. And I'm going to save that. And then I should get an email here, go into other, get to successfully uh, created that alert. And there's my alert on South. And as you see that uh, I can still see that it's been added. What then I could have gotten a notification that it had been changed, of course, also. I saw who did the change or the, the addition in this case. And I also see the list of columns there. So that's an important part. So let's do this again and just create another column. So I'll just do a single line of text here and do a status. And that could be a choice. Let's just do a quick edit here and set the south one as disabled for now. Not sure how you disable a department, but that's not the point. So now we'll get another email about this within a few seconds. It won't be immediate, but there will be a slight delay. But we should get the email. There's the email now. And as you see, I get south and employees five still. But this is the field that's been edited. So that's a very important information when you get information about a change in a list. And also, that would work on a document library, of course. It also, if you add columns there, you would get the metadata and see what's been changed. You can't get what was changed inside the document in a document library, of course. So that's that. I'm going to go back into my site here and show you another feature of tasks. Same principle there that of course you can create alerts. Notice that the tasks do not yet have the new experience. So to manage your tasks there, you can alert me, create an alert on this list. And there's a slight difference here. It's the same thing, tasks. Here is the, the change. Someone changes an item that appears in the following view. This thing only works on tasks lists. So that's a rather important one. So when you create new views, the filtered views, you can have alerts based on that view. So that's a powerful thing. Uh, another thing that's specific to task lists, if you go into list settings here, you can go into the advanced settings. And here's one, send an email notification when ownership is assigned. That is, of course, also specific to tasks because they have an assigned person to that task. But that is no by default. So those are the specific alerts when it comes to tasks lists. Thank you for watching this demonstration.